Hey everyone, it's Mindy Hahn, the Midwest Premier Sports Handicapper, coming to you from TonySpicks.com and the half of the morning show duo, The Morning Steam with Ramon Scott. Uh, but hope you enjoy this free pick video from our show. Uh, be sure to click in the link in the description for our best bets. Now here is the pick. The Guardians and the Cubs will have a series uh, here over the weekend. And... Quantrill and Steele. And uh, favorite in this one, Mindy the Cubs, minus $1.70 today. I'm showing $1.65 now, eight and a half under, minus $1.25. Yeah, I mean, I see a lot of folks here. It looks like they kind of like the Cubbies here this morning. I don't know if it's a little bit of a, um, you know, a steep price here or not. But for me, I kind of feel like Justin Steele has been pretty decent. I think that's why everyone's kind of looking out for him. I think that's why he's favored as such. 2.57 ERA, uh, only a point two home runs per nine innings thus far. In 42 innings of work, uh, Guardians Cal Control has a little bit of a elevated ERA here. Uh, but again, it kind of comes down to me. I don't see the Guardians hitting a whole lot. Cubs have struggled a little bit here. Maybe they'll get something uh, fired back up. But for me, I'm going to go under the total. I think I got good pitching matchup here today. Uh, and the Guardians has a really nice uh, bullpen. So if the Cubs want to win this, I got to get out early. Go in with the under. All right, Mindy says go under here. Cubs and Guardians. Uh, I would say the weather does not look like a factor in this one, but I will check it out. Here because just because of the fact that uh, uh, what was it? Let's see, eight and a half under twenty. So to me, maybe an indication that the wind. I don't know. I, I'm going to say it's going to be negligible. Maybe they've got it in the chat here before I can find it. <laughs> <laughs> I see the plays rolling in. Yeah, they're saying no wind so far. So okay, we'll yeah, that's what it feels like. You know, because it was be like probably eight or seven and a half. So Ron's on the Cubs here today. And hello to Moneyline. Thank you. Good to see you. Ron says he has steel also to get the win, I think, in the game. Yeah, maybe a high price here for Perky. Go Cubs, go. Cubs run line for Jeremy in this one. I don't know. I want to give the – it's just such a difference right now, it feels like, between Steele and Quantrill. But how will the bullpen – Cleveland, you know, Cleveland under has been money. He's been a monster, uh, really. But uh, will that be the case? Here's Cubs money line and over. For Fernando. Okay. No wind, says Jeremy. Tom Leach says Cubs money line and under. I'm just getting to that weather, and I just, I know you guys are right. Yeah. It's negative. Cloudy and smoky. <laughs> huh? yeah. Tom Lewis said cloudy and smoky. <laughs> well, we saw that Padre game yesterday get uh, delayed from the start. Right. They say that 200, the, Dirt rating of the air quality rating, 200 is bad. They started the game at 190, but I guess it was the players that actually said we're not ready to go out, out there. They didn't start the game. So, all right, Angel says Cubs minus a run and a half. Guardians had to play extra innings, and now they're coming into town. Great point. And uh, let's see. A bionics on Cleveland. Yep, Steele is really, I mean, 2.62 ERA. Quantrill's got an ERA of five and a half or a little bit higher. Ron may be going under here. And Jeremy Bryan, exact score line, 6-3 Cubs. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to take the, what's the run line? Pray? Oh, boy, $1.40. These. Guardians, I'm going to take the Guardians on the run line here, plus a run and a half. 
at minus 140. All right. Maybe steel, I don't know. I, I I think the numbers at this point, I mean, after, you know, 14 starts, he's doing a pretty good job, no doubt about it. All right. All right, Angel, I get it. Um, 1.93 ERA in his last three starts. Cubs have lost four straight now, however. Guardians have won seven of ten. I'll, I'll try the Guardians. I think their bats are starting to get a little bit better. They have to. All right, Mindy on the under. I'm on the Guardians plus a run and a half. We are underway. That's the day game today. Here we go. Here come the Padres. They'll be uh, involved in a series with Cincinnati. They're going to be expecting runs this weekend, I would assume, here with these two. We've got Lugo. Padres on the road here as a favorite uh, <laughs> with Lugo. Can't win Lugo. Minus a dollar thirty. That feels ugly. Eleven under twenty-five. Yeah, I mean it's going to depend on if your Padres team can hit today, Ramon. I mean because they're up against Graham Ashcraft. Uh, can they go ahead and smoke them here today or not? <laughs> or is it going to be uh, a Padres team here? Uh, that's been a little bit of a I don't know. What do you want to say? Like disaster? I don't know. Uh, I mean, but I still feel like Lugo has pitched really, really well, allowed just uh, four runs in his last two outings. Uh, he beat the Reds uh, pretty good the last time they met, uh, giving up only one run. Uh, so for me, I kind of think this one's going to go under here today. I'm kind of expecting the Padres to do their Padre-type deal and not score many runs, maybe, uh, you know, five, something like that. Okay, Mindy says go under. I was trying to prop it up as a slugging, a slugfest series. <laughs> well, like I said, it's going to depend, right? I mean, well, I still think the Padres have the better pitching in this series, so I don't know. We'll see. Oh, yeah, no, Ashcraft has a, you know, bad ERA. We know that, but he gets a pretty good run support, and the Reds obviously still playing out of their minds uh, to a certain extent, so... I'm going with the Reds, you guys. <laughs> Padre, we, we went against the Padres yesterday, Mindy. Yep. And, uh, you know, they didn't have a good – they did not have a, a good series. Uh, they got off to an okay start. They were in start control of that, that game, game honestly, yeah, right? Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I'm tired. Not, not complaining today. It's just too much for me now with this team. But uh, Lugo, you know, 10 stars. He did get a little bit of respite in there. Uh, whether, you know, he might have been injured just a little bit of resting of the Padres, you know, shuffling that pitching. But Lugo's back now, and he's costing you a third of a unit every time he takes them out. So, I, you know, I'm not uh, impressed with Lugo to come over to the team and fill a role. Uh, I think Ashcraft actually is a little bit better than the numbers. I get what Angel's saying. He's got a 7 ERA. He's been garbage in the last few games. Uh, he has gone over in seven of his last eight starts. The Padres have gone under in just four of their last 14 games. So probably not going to be uh, joining Mindy here. I'll just take the Reds <laughs> for sure. Give me the Reds. Uh, these Padres against these red hot Reds are back home real quick. They made a quick road. Okay, no problem. I'm taking the Reds. Here's Luis on the Reds. Jeremy on the Reds. Ron says, give me the Reds minus one and a half and over. <laughs> a lot of confidence in the Reds, huh? Jared on the over. Well, it's going to be a lot of Reds action here. Fernando Reds. Dre's on the Reds. Hello to Dre. Here's Tom on the Reds. Says Reds money line and over. Hey, Ron, great to have a legend like Ron in our chat. Of course, Ron's famous spreadsheet picks. Oh, Ron, what a pleasure to have you in our chat. Nice to see you. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks a lot, man. All right, Angel on the Padres minus run and a half. What we do, Ron, Mindy gives us a pick, and then I either go with her pick or I pivot and give out the other side or total. Sometimes we go heads up. But uh, if we do agree on our pick, then we bundle them together. We call it a premium consensus pick. So really we just are looking for Mindy and I to agree and then 
we consider that as our like our fi official play. We do bundle them up and sell it over on the website, tonyspicks.com. They're always free, though, uh, to everyone who watches the show. We just kind of have them there for people to check out our record. And, uh, boy, we've had a really good last three weeks, Mindy, no doubt about it. We're in the red this week, so these winners are going to come your way in just a moment. Thanks, Ron. All right. Here comes uh, Thomas wants to go on the over in this one. Solo is on the Reds. The Reds got those bats, no doubt. Jared's giving us more horse racing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right. Stephen Matthews here today wants to go over. Nathan's going to lay the run line with the – you can't call him the fraud race. If you lay call him that it. forever. Well, he has, but if you're betting on him, you got to say Padres. If you're baiting them, you call them fraud rays. <laughs> All right. Hello to Gerardo. And all right. Uh, oh, look at Jared says there's maybe some line movement here on the Reds right now. I'll take a look. Ah, still showing a lot of 130s on the Padres. Do show that Cubs lot that Cubs total moving a little bit though. All right, did we get everybody in? Oh, no, I got a couple more, Mindy, here. Ron likes the Reds, okay. Yeah, now, yeah, it's a consensus, I think, for most of us. Uh, Mindy gave out the total, but, hey, who knows? Maybe it's a premium. We don't know. We can't even <laughs> know. No reason. Maybe she. Maybe this is a Padres day. Here's Bionic on the Padres. All right. That's enough. We're on. I'm on the Reds. Mindy's on the under. Here we go. Next up, the Nationals are going to take on the Phils. Phillies minus a dollar seventy-five. This is Chris Sanchez. Total nine over twenty-five. Yeah, it looked like Latifa was in the Discord liking her Padre or not Padres. Uh, Phillies uh, versus the Cubs here this week. Uh, but for me here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, not be on the Phillies today. I'm going to go ahead and take the Nationals here on the run line. Uh, they have won four of their last uh, five. I think they're playing decent here offensively uh, as well. And then we're going up against uh, Sanchez with that 5.79 ERA. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take the Nationals here on the run line. Okay. Feels like a popular, might be a popular play here today. And uh well, why not? I just let's see what is it minus a dollar thirty, dollar thirty five or so. Uh, feels like it's going to be a pretty popular play with the chat, but uh, I'm probably going to join you on this one, Mindy. The way um, the Nationals are playing just a little bit better, the price just seems still maybe too high. The Phillies are playing well, no doubt, and the Nationals still have a poor record, we know that. See what the chat has to say here. Jared's on the Nationals. Yeah, Phillies are a total public play here, but uh, man, who wants to lay a dollar seventy-five with them? Adre wants the Nats on the run line. Stephen Matthews says Nats run line. Fernando says give me the Nats on the money line. And. Uh, Heartbreak Kid says he'll take plus two runs. Nats run line here. I know that's Nats run line for Bionic. Thomas Lewis says take the Nationals. Lotto Snob's got a home run prop for us today. Tom Lee says Nationals run line. Uh, looks like, I don't know if what uh, Fernando is saying, like uh, some, is this good? Is this good? Josiah Gray or bad Josiah Gray? Is that what he's saying? Or Yeah, I think so. But I think if you're saying something different, like, uh, you know, I would say that's uh, to the better. <laughs> it looks like Jeremy will take him plus a run, that feels like to me. Randy Hoover here today says take the over. And yeah, Jared says Phillies. Obviously, they like I said they've been hot. Hello to Darren. Hello to Marcus. He's on the Phillies. Money line. Marcus. All right. Okay. Good to have Marcus. Have we had Marcus here before? I don't think so. Nice to have you, Marcus. You got a hundred today. Great job, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, uh, that's 
Uh, that means nationals cover the run line, I believe is what I'm going to say there. Larry Stewart here with the over today. I'll take the nationals with you, Minnie. Just can't right. get behind okay, this. Let's play number one. Yeah, I just can't get behind this Phillies price. And I I don't know. I like I said, I, I think the Phillies are public today, but uh, look how many people in the chat want to kind of grab the nationals here. Gray does have just a 4.43 ERA in his last four starts, but uh, nationals have won four of their last five. And uh, to expand on that Philly streak, they've won 18 of their last, yeah, 15, 10 of the last 15, 18 of their last 23. Uh, Sanchez, uh, three starts this year with that four ERA, uh, but a seven. Point one one. He's got that seven eleven ERA, Mindy, against the uh, Nationals. In I could use a big gulp at this point. Wake me up a little bit. <laughs> I always love seven eleven because uh, I could get the you know the cups during the season. Remember the uh, you know the the sports cups, so I could get you know whatever you could pick out the Mariners or the Cardinals, okay. and they had it for football too. I I know, no, no, I've never seen that at, out. Uh, where I'm at, I do remember though, um, as a kid, Dairy Queen had the helmet Sundays, and I yes. tried to get every helmet <laughs> and, with, and the standings board. There you go. Well, I, <laughs> I yeah, like now them. there's no 7 Elevens around me anymore. They all closed up. They don't make those standing boards, and maybe because computers or whatever, I don't do they, but. I had the standings board with the magnets for every team. You know, that would be good background. You know, they have this old, old, <laughs> like I was well, a Maybe you could find it on eBay or something. Magnets and you'd put, yeah. And well, they do have some, but they're kind of outdated. They don't have the current teams. I don't even know if they manufacture those anymore. If oh, they are, right. that might be a start. I might, everybody's got these fancy background. I mean, I like, I have my little, you know, Vegas <laughs> style scoreboard and the, Tony's picks thing, but I always like those magnets with the standings. Yeah. Anybody have those, or am I just I'm the I never old had one? No. I'm I'm nobody had because I'm old. <laughs> All right. Nationals and Phillies. Any more here? Oh yes, here comes uh, uh some more, I believe. Oh gosh, Mindy, sorry about that. Just want to make sure we get everybody in here with their Play. Well, it's it's at least used to have the ball cards too, like Matt said. We used to get that shredded beef jerky with the ball card. I think the big league too had the had the card in it as well. I just remember the old bubble gum and the cards that was rock hard, and you, you know, <laughs> yeah, that piece right on the back. <laughs> I don't know if there were any more picks on the on the game high to Sean Money as well. I think everyone got their. I think everyone got their play in on this one, so let's move on. All right, uh, we're on the we're on the Nationals on the run line at that price for sure. Brewers and Freddie Peralta on the road here minus a dollar forty or so, eight and a half over twenty. Pirates and uh, Beto, uh, they've lost all three of his starts so far, but he hasn't been terrible. Beto, Beto, Beto. Let's see what do we got. Beto with a 4.5 ERA, no home runs here, uh, given up in his six innings of work at home. And the Brewers with Peralta, 5.94 ERA here on the road. So a little bit elevated off of his normal ERA. You got the Brewers, though, with the good bullpen, 3.85 ERA here, 22 saves. Uh, for me, I'm going to go ahead and go over the total today. I just think with the... Uh, uh, Peralta with that higher ERA. I think the Pirates have gotten a little bit hot as of late. What they put up seven or eight yesterday? Um, I think they go ahead and get some runs here in this one. I'm gonna go over that eight and a half today. Okay, I'll, I'll go over eight and a half as well uh, with you, Mindy, with these two teams. Um, I don't know if there's much to say as far as the trends concerned uh, that these teams might be going. Uh, under a little bit more than over here, but at eight and a half, I think we're going to look to, I think the Pirates can do a little bit of damage here against Peralta. Uh, does have a, a consistent 4.65 ERA. Seems like he's out there just, you know, throwing innings. 
Let's see, Beto over five strikeouts is Lotto Snob here with a prop. Ron says under in this game. Brewers here for uh, for Solo. Trey says go over in this one. Fernando on the Brewers, Bionic on the Pirates. Thomas Lewis on the Pirates as well. I think Angel's saying uh, Peralta's a little bit better on the road, but the Pirates are hot, right? Uh, they just swept the Padres, but that's easy. You know that. <laughs> Fernando's easy. on the Brewers. Tom Leach says Pirates run line and the under. I hope you're right, James. I had a few losses this week. I had two matches. It's unfortunate because, uh, indeed, I – the system in the back, I had two matches where my my player won by default, my player won, but our system grades it as no action. However, in one match where my player uh, was the player who retired, they gave me, a, the system gave me a loss. So, <laughs> and the back's not perfect, but I'm not going to, you know, there's a yeah. million games. Yeah, like, ah, win one, lose one, somewhere in there. Yeah, even it out. Well, the, the so it's going to show negatively. It would it would help my, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay, um, <laughs> it's a million games. I got a long way to go. <laughs> right. All right, a JD on the under here. Heartbreak Kid says take the Brewers. Tyrone Bell maybe going over in this one. Jeremy thinks runs will be scored. All right, that's good. That's what we want. Steven says take Pittsburgh in the game. You know, pretty good series here. All right. Uh, we'll take a mini over in this one. Brewers and Pirates on Friday. The Twins and Lopez on the road here against Baltimore and Dean Kramer. Uh, interestingly, Mindy Kramer, not great, but – uh, he is the second most profitable. If you pitch, if you bet on Kramer every game, uh, he's he's the second most profitable pitcher in the major leagues. We know the Orioles are one of the most profitable teams going, but uh, you bet on Kramer every game, you win a half a unit pretty much. No matter, uh, well, if you lose, he loses. I'm just saying on average, <laughs> you're gonna uh, make money here with Kramer this year. Yeah, it's just that uh, Minnesota has struggled to put runs on the board. I mean, I think that is the name of the Twins' uh, season. Uh, this is a good team. Uh, you know, they got a nice pitching staff. They got a nice bullpen. They just struggle to score. I mean, you can put them right next to the Tigers for, uh, you, you know, putting runs up this season here. 3.93 runs per game. Uh, again, this is why they've been hanging in games. They only allow 3.70 on that defensive side. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and go under in this one. Just going to have to hope the Orioles don't uh, get out there and blow this one all the way up on there <laughs> all by themselves. All right. Mindy says, take the under. Uh, yeah. These are definitely two teams that have produced some unders. The twins have gone under in six of their last seven games. Uh, right now, I'm going to end up on the Orioles here for sure with my guy, Dean Kramer. There you go. Got to take him. Well, the Orioles are 11-5 and five in his starts this season. That's why I mentioned his profitability. Uh, I certainly think he matches up here with a guy like Lopez, and you do get the Orioles. 17 games over 500. And you mentioned that the Twins, uh, they're, you know, under 500. So uh, they've also lost four of their last five games. They're 18 and 23 on the road. Uh, the Orioles are 25 and 16 at home. And here they're laying a buck 15 or so. And I mean, even showing close to a pick em. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. This is the nature of baseball. Uh, Lopez hasn't exactly been knocking him out. He's two and six on the or uh, Twins are two and six on the road with Lopez as a starter. Give me the Orioles here. I feel like it's uh, kind of a premium for me, but uh, I don't know. I maybe have some runs being scored here in this one, so I'll pivot and I'll take the mm -hmm. Orioles. Mindy's on the under today in this one, and uh, let's see what the chat looks like. They're a little bit. 
on this game here, certainly. It looks like we've got plenty of uh, opinion. Ron says Baltimore, that's his spreadsheet play of the day. So I feel pretty good about that. Um, here, Oh, no, he says, oh. I uh, got Ron. I got Ronnie H. right behind him with the uh, twins. That kind of, I saw the two <laughs> Ron. I was like, wait a minute. But uh, Ron with me here today. Heartbreak kid on the Orioles. Feels like it's going to be a lot of Orioles support. Fernando on the run line. Dre says, take my O's. Solo says, for sure. Luis on the Orioles at Minnesota offense for Heartbreak kid. Not doing it. But Tyrone will take him. And Brett B says, give me the K-prop over for Lopez. Bionic on the Orioles today. But, yep, more. Oops, there we go. Tom Leach says, Baltimore. Fernando on the over. Twins team total under for Tom. Lots of action for the crew on this one. Darren says he'll take the under in this one. Fernando's playing the steam. Plus show. Yeah. Yeah. And look, I mean, the twins can go beating themselves over the head, but uh, they just lost to the World Series favorite. Let's call it what it is. The Braves are on fire. There's no problem going in there. You look, you want to win. You want to beat the Braves. I get it. All right. Fernando says this one actually touched nine and a half. So he thinks the move is to the under here. Nathan with a pick. He's got over, O's in the first five on the money line. He's also got had, looks like under in the first five. O's and under. Randy says, give me the Orioles here. DC and, gets oh, money. Nice. I like it. Yeah. Wow. Was that more representation from uh, the DC I don't Baltimore I DMV right. area? Wow. We, man, that might be our – that might take over as our number one area, right? Right. Now We've got a nice block of folks there. Yeah. yeah. We do, no doubt. Maybe they like it's it. because it's maybe it's just geographic because you know the, the people like in your area might still be sleeping, right? We got some folks that are up there on the East Coast, wide awake. Yeah, no, I, but again, that's otherwise why. I think it's just you and Nathan out there right now. Oh, Angel, he's up. Yeah. Well, that's why in Takia on the Orioles. Uh, that's why I. Get up early. I want to be the first live look on YouTube of all the uh, shows. So, oh, great. Great to see you, Kyle. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you for stopping by. Nope, this is what we're doing now. <laughs> Trying to pick some winners. That's right. All right. All right, Mindy, uh, you're on the under. I'll take the Orioles in that one. Red Sox going to take on the Jays here in this one. The Jays minus a buck 35 or so. This total is definitely moving down, though. Uh, what was once 9 over 25, I'm now showing. Uh, this one's juice to the under now a little bit here, I think. I'm showing 9 under minus 115. All right, we're going uh, Blue Jays here today. Red Sox have been just uh, struggling a little bit. I didn't like how they looked versus the Marlins in that series at all. Paxton has a little bit of a bum knee. Uh, he's been having soreness there all season. And Berrios has been really, really good at home. Uh, just went ahead and beat up uh, Webb there for the Giants last week. Going to go ahead and take the Blue Jays here. Also have the better bullpen. Yeah, Paxton's been, you know, I, I've been a proponent of getting back with Paxton since he's returned. He hasn't really <laughs> turned a profit yet. But 2.70 ERA in his last four starts. But Berrios has been uh, just as terrific, if not better. Five and one in his last seven starts. The Blue Jays have won eight of his last ten starts. Got 2.55 ERA in those last seven starts. Yeah, he's one and four uh, in his career against uh, – Boston, but Toronto's one six of eight. They're at home here. Boston's one and seven in their last eight. I think this looks like a great price. And here I am going to lay some more favorites, Mindy. Not enough dogs. <laughs> it's, well, you're, you're laying them with me, so. <laughs> okay. No, that's fine. Here we go. I'm taking the Blue it's, Jays. It's not really that big. Is odds? What is it, 140? Yeah. 135. Even better. So even come down a little bit for you. 
Kyle, thanks for your pick there today. We kind of uh, go in order and put the picks up on the screen as the show goes along. That's another premise uh, of our show is that the uh, chat are the real stars. Yeah, Mindy and I are here to finalize our consensus plays. But, uh, you know, we like to think that it just evolved into this. Uh, we want everyone to be on record with their plays. We know that we're just two handicappers as well. And when we show all these plays, look, you can look at all those numbers, Mindy, and all the talking heads talk about what they mean. Are they real betting percent? Right. But here we're giving you an actual look at what the general public, not that our, you know, we like our chat. We think you guys are way above average. Right. You know, our public is better than most. Watch people. a show like this, right? <laughs> a gambling show if you will but it also gives a you know one person sitting there watching this what other people are thinking whether you want to agree with them or not you know we talk about those public percentages this is kind of giving a true representation i think of you know what the what the public might be doing you're getting you know five, 10, 15 opinions from people. And you probably develop your favorites in there a little bit. I, I treat everyone equally, but maybe, you know, I see, you. Hey, I like this guy when he picks this, whatever. So, all right. I also saw uh, Devers in there for Steven Matthews on a home run prop. Bionic on the Jays, Tyrone on the Toronto money line. Ron says, give me the under in this one with uh, Paxton and Berrios. Randy says Blue Jays and under. All right, uh, Nathan has a lean here. Tom Lee says, give me the Blue Jays in this one, and we're going to take the Blue Jays. Mindy, reasonable price here. I think so. Consensus play, number three. Ron says, look, he finally hit a home run at home. It will hit another one tonight. Yeah, he's had a couple now. Like what back to back days? Okay, Dre says take Toronto, and I think Larry's on the under here. All right, we'll be on the Blue Jays for our consensus play in this one. Let's do it, Giants and the Mets, Cobb and Carrasco. Cobb going to be a road favorite here, a dollar twenty nine under twenty. Yeah, I mean. Uh... Cobb's been doing well this season, right? We really can't, uh, you know, say that he has it. I mean, he's just been out there getting it done. 3.09 ERA, 10.8 uh, uh, strikeouts per nine innings, 25% K rate. So having a nice season here. And then you have Carrasco that is doing, I don't know, the opposite. Uh, I think that's what you can say. Uh, 6.19 ERA, but look at this at home. Carrasco for the Mets, 8.2 ERA. He's given up 11 home runs in his last, I don't know, 10 starts perhaps. I mean, just been giving up the long ball here. So for me, I got the Giants here with a decent pitcher out on the mound. Uh, also got, uh, I think, a Giants team that's been playing well here as of late. Uh, so I'm actually going to go ahead and just go ahead and go over the total. I think the Giants uh, have a big day here today. Okay, Mindy says take the over. I thought you were going to give me the Giants there for uh, for a moment. Uh, it's kind of leading into that, I guess, huh? Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, I don't know if I I don't know if I necessarily want to go over, especially at nine. Now it's juiced there at nine under twenty ish. Oh boy, I'm going to end up on the uh, Giants here. This one, I, I maybe, maybe can I say I lean over, but yeah, sure. uh, I don't and know. I mean the Giants, obviously. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I don't want to give away your plays here from the premium side, but I'll, I'll go ahead and take the Giants here. Uh, look, I tried them on a premium yesterday, so maybe I don't want to come back with them today. They have lost two in a row. You mentioned how hot they are. Yeah, they've won 12 in their last. 16. Yeah, 16, like yeah, pretty hot, but they lost the last two. Uh, Mets, you mentioned, I mean, Carrasco's got double the ERA that, Cobb does. So I think we'll just leave it at that. Let's see what the chat has to say uh, here. 
maybe I could have gone, um, you know, gone with the over here. But uh, Fernando's on the Mets, Heartbreak Kids on the Giants. So right out of the gate, we're seeing a little bit of mixed action. Ron's on the Mets run line, but Luis is on the Giants. Stephen Matthews will lay the run line. Dre says take San Francisco. As does Thomas, I believe. Randy says Giants and over. Tyrone here, uh, Giants money line. Ron C says Giants. Bionic on the Giants. So now we're starting to see uh, more Giants. Uh, Fade Buck Showalter. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mayor Baltimore says Giants money line and give me the Mets team total under Tom Leach on the Giants. So pretty strong on the Giants. And uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe if I was uh, didn't go down with the Giants yesterday in that game against Toronto, I, I maybe because you know, I'm leaning over, I would have went with you. You've been hot. But uh, – Giants cost me just a little bit. Tommy will take the Giants here as well. Larry Stewart, Giants and over. Takia takes the over with you in this one. All right. Here we go with uh, the Mariners and the Braves. So let's take a look and make sure. I don't think we've seen officially – Sorry, yeah. yeah, I mean, I think he has to be activated. That's why we haven't seen Soroka uh, official yet. So I think they've got to make a, a move to get this taken care of. But we we have seen Soroka already this season. We just haven't seen him at home yet. He had two starts. They weren't – I don't know. The ERA was high. The performance was not awful. Um, you know, when you're talking about a guy who's, you know, basically two years off with the uh, the Achilles injury and whatever else he had going on with his injuries. But he's back now. He's supposed to make this start. He's going to be a big favorite here against the Marlins. Uh, you know, I know the Braves are number one, and hey, it'd be great if they could get Soroka going. Um, I, think he, I think they will. Whether or not it'll be overly effective remains to be seen, but we know – from you know, he was looking every bit the part of a, a strong major league pitcher before he was injured. Oh, he's done a nice job with the Marlins. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, uh, kind of, you know, how to lean on this one because I like the Braves, uh, but I don't really like him at minus one ninety. I don't really like him here on the run line. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and go back on the Marlins. Uh, on the run line, the only thing that worries me is, right, the Braves just average more runs. They are a really uh, stout team. They average 5.5 runs a game. Uh, the Marlins, 4.10. So, I mean, it's, you know, sitting right in there at that one and a half. But I'm going to go ahead and take the Marlins uh, and, and see how this one goes here today. Not my fave. Not a whole lot of information for me. Uh, but going Marlins here on the run line. Well, Hoey's done a real nice job. 2.31 ERA. Uh, this season, I believe, uh, I think 3.06 in, in his starts. So uh, Marlins red hot. Their offense is starting to get together as well. Um, you know, we've made fun of them a lot of the season, but they're actually starting to uh, hit. If you really narrow down the uh, uh, time frame here, they're, they are hitting. I mean, they've won 19 of their last 25. The Braves have won 21 of their last 25 so two hot hot teams um i think it's a pretty good pitching matchup we shall see that total looks i don't know we know these teams are mashing a little bit um well you know i just want to see a little bit more from soroka obviously he had two starts uh, was kind of sent back down so i'll take the marlins on the run line i, I look i think they're playing great this is a Great series. Probably shouldn't be a dollar ninety, right? I mean, the Braves. Uh, right. Yeah, they're only. I think like one six sixty one seventy six hundred so in the standings, and uh, the Marlins are playing just uh, terrific as well. No reason why this won't be highly contentious series. Uh, Got to give the Marlins a big chance here uh, against the Braves to make some noise. Maybe it'll be opinion of the Braves in the chat. Fernando's on the Braves here. 
Let me get it started. Yeah, Braves money line. Ron Hahn says, give me the Braves on the run line. Fernando on the over. Tom Leach says, give me the Braves. Takia on the over. Ron C. wants to see more from Soroka. We know he was, you know, looked dominant early in his career. Dre says, give me Atlanta, Tyrone. It looks like a lot of Atlanta here. Ron says the Braves have been just mashing, right? Right. But the Marlins are definitely uh, at a peak as far as their offense is concerned right now as well. Larry on the over. Stephen Matthew has a team total over in this one. we got someone to agree with us. Mindy Heartbreak Kid will take the Marlins. <laughs> Thomas says, take the over here. Uh, solo on the Marlins plus to run and a half. Darren says, first five under. The mayor says, give me the nerfy. Hoeing is allowed to run in just one of his four starts. The Marlins have scored a run in 14 of 82 in the first inning. That's one of the lowest conversion rates in the league. The Braves have scored a run, first inning run in 34 of 80. That's one of the highest conversion rates in the first inning in the league. Bionic says, uh, give me the under. Tommy says he mentioned our uh, show in his stand-up routine. I guess oh, we well, I mean, I don't was, know. It was yeah, a good I, Our picks sometimes are pure comedy. Okay. Uh, comedy gold, Jerry. Comedy gold. <laughs> Here's Ron all over the Braves. I mean, Braves I feel like Tommy's like, you know, got us on like a, a limb here. Like, I feel like he needs to, you know, send us that clip or something so we know what's what's up. So I just feel, look, the Braves are dominant, but we're talking about two of the best teams. I Look, the only the Marlins are one of the best teams in the National League. Uh, they are, uh, feels like to me, so. Uh, Two dollar favorite. Don't feel comfortable with that at all. Let's take the Marlins on the run line here, Mindy. At I thought it was a decent. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, I guess because it's not up in a lot of not up in a lot of places yet. Uh, have you seen a? I haven't seen it, but it's one of those like I'm guessing what one thirty yeah. or something. I don't know. Okay, fair enough. We're on the Marlins. That's what we want. Astros and the Rangers here. We've got uh, Blanco, uh, not too great so far, going up against John Gray. Gray minus a dollar sixty-five now, nine under fifteen. Yeah, interesting matchup here. Uh, I kind of see this one as uh, look at John Gray, what he's done from a, a pitching standpoint historically versus the Astros. Uh, he has a 26% K rate. He's allowed a 0.186 average. So pitches well versus uh, the Astro here. And Blanco, uh, we know that he's elevated a little bit. ERA 4.63, but he also has a 20% K rate uh, and allows only a 3.75 batting average. So that one's maybe a little bit higher. Uh, but for me, I have this one coming in at about eight runs. I'm going to go ahead and go under the total. I look at this bullpen. And neither of them have really allowed any home runs out of the bullpen. 27 and 28 home runs is all they have allowed, allowed all season, uh, which is pretty much uh, sitting up there at the tops of um, least amount of home runs allowed out of that bullpen. So I'm going to go ahead and take the under total here. I feel like the Rangers have been down a little bit, even though they kind of kicked the Astros' butt there uh, early in the season in April. Yeah, I and mean, Gray still has an ERA under three, and he's at home now. He has a... Uh, hasn't looked too good in his last uh, three starts, uh, 4.41 ERA with an 0-2 record. But he did go under in three of his last four. So I'm going to end up a agreeing with you. I, I know that I think there were a few nine and a halfs early that were juiced. And now we're looking at this one. Um, I think it's a pretty steady move to the under. Uh, that's the way I'm going to look. I mean, I, I feel like the uh, Sharps are kind of pushing this one lower because you do have 
the two teams that maybe are producing a few more overs of late Astros have gone over in eight of their last 11. Uh, the Rangers haven't gone under in five straight games at home, but I want to go under here in this one. Um, I was actually considering a premium here. Uh, if I could, if it was nine and a half, I was pulling for that. But if you're going to be on them, I'll be on them. And uh, you know, I'm not getting my best price here. But uh, I want to go under, actually, in this one. I feel like maybe we're contrarian again. Let's take a look. I, I don't know. Maybe there won't be much opinion on the total here. Luis says go with the Astros. Ron is on the Astros. I'm. It, it, the price is, feels a little high on the, on the Rangers right now. I, I like the Rangers, but who wants to lay a buck 60? Uh, in a game like this, I'm not sure. So uh, let's see. Tyrone says Texas money line and under. Dre says Rangers first five. Bionic Astros run line. Thomas Lewis Rangers run line. So yeah, this one may be a mixed bag after all. It looks Our like Rangers it. Yeah. Especially when we Rangers. got the opposite run lines there. Yep. Yeah, Ron, me and Ron. Feel like we're always going to be on the same page a little bit. We're on uh, not at 165. I'm I'm, I'm going to find a way onto Texas. Maybe it'll just be in pocket parlay piece. Dare I say? I don't know. I'm not into that too much. <laughs> but I'm going to want to have a maybe the maybe the. I don't think it's going to go down too much. That's the thing that bothers me. Stephen Matthews on Houston. Good morning to Big Meat. We have the meats. Larry says take the Astros. Yeah, I, I feel I, I want to go under. So let's do it. I'm on the under in this one. Yeah, Astros were on the road yesterday, Fernando. They were in that game against the Cardinals and ended up uh, winning. Mindy, we had the under uh, in that game yesterday. But uh, – Houston put up some runs. What, about 14 of them? <laughs> <laughs> Solo says, take the Rangers. KP here today. Nice to see you, KP. Back in action. All right. We're on it for a consensus play here. Let's take the under. And all right. Jeremy likes the first five under. So, yeah, that one might be all us again. I don't know. Okay, the Tigers going to take on the Rockies here on the road. The Tigers are a road favorite right now. Yeah, buck 20. Uh, this total continues to go down, 11 under 15. Uh, it's just like uh, being played in Cincinnati or something. You know, uh, <laughs> back in the day, Colorado used to be where all the runs were scored. Now, you just go anywhere and you can score 11 runs. Anyways, uh, Tigers here, though, are the road favorite. A buck 20 or so with Lorenzen. Uh, Gomber has got that 7 ERA, Mindy. Yeah, he does, right? Uh, and that's, I always think, what's a little bit up for uh, discussion, though, is the Colorado offense. I don't really know which one is ever going to uh, show up there. They do average 4.98 runs per game. Uh, and again, they do pay, play in that big ballpark there as well. But um, I mean, like the ballpark that likes to get those out. Uh, but yeah, the Tigers, though, I think they are very reliable to score three or fewer. Uh, so I will be taking uh, the under in this one. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I, I kind of like the under here. I guess I'm going to join you. I can't like the under at the price, but. I feel like it's going to go under with these two, even with Gomber out there in this one. Um, let's see here what the chat is going with. I'm probably going to, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to agree with you now so I can't change my mind. Uh, I don't like the fact that it's gone all the way down to 11. Right, from 11 and a half? Damn it. Were there even some early 12s out there? No, well, was there? I didn't see 12, but. Okay, maybe I, maybe I didn't either. I don't know, but here's uh, gonna be 
Um, Fernando here on the Rockies money line. Ron takes his Tigers, and Ron C. also loves the Tigers in this one. Heartbreak kid on the Rockies. Steven Matthews says go over, and, well, you know, give him a little gift. He can get over 11 right now. <laughs> Denise, uh, Louise says give me the Rockies and the under. Dre says Colorado money line. Miles on the Rockies. Solo on the Tigers money line. Jeremy Bryant says he likes the Tigers in this one. Tyrone, Colorado, and under. Okay. And uh, Ron's got the uh, uh, runs created plus stat there. Bionic says give me the Tigers. Larry says give me the under. I'm going to try the under, Mindy. Uh, uh, not too fond of the price, and I'm making us now make it a premium. But Thomas says he'll take the over in this one. Uh, Gomber's actually gone under in his last three starts, despite that those bad numbers. Rockies have gone under in seven of their last 11 at home. Detroit's been a pretty solid over, no doubt about it. Let's try the under here. We're in a little bit of consensus. I don't know if the <laughs> chat necessarily is, but there's a few in there on the under. Take under 11 runs. Okay, Mindy, the Dodgers and Bobby Miller going to be up against the Royals and uh, Marsh here. So we're going to see Mindy. Uh, look, it's not going to be the <laughs> last Royals call up we see. Uh, this year, I think we're going to continue. This is Alec Marsh, though. He's making his major league debut, I believe. Right. And, uh, well, the, we're going to see more Royals young pitching prospects, I think, come up. Uh, what do you have on Marsh in this game? Uh, well, Marsh has been bad. And I mean oh. bad, like way over five in, in triple A. Okay. Uh, so I'm looking for uh, – Dodgers going out and just crushing the, the Royals here today. So I'm going to take this uh, Dodgers team here on uh, the run line. Again, if you look at uh, Bobby Miller, I mean, he's been nothing but maybe exceptional. Only one run in his four starts. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take the Dodgers here on the run line. All right, Mindy says take the Dodgers on the run line. I'll uh, have to agree with Mindy to <laughs> take the lowly Dodgers if I have to. If, if I have Miller. Luis Ramon's arm to take the Dodgers. Yeah, well, it's a run line, too, don't forget, so I can't be too comfortable with them. But, uh, <laughs> Miller, yeah, look, the last two starts have not been that terrific uh, for oh, the I they way were. I see it. But the Dodgers have still won six of eight. And uh, – uh, yeah, for Marsh making his major league debut. Royals, they've actually they've won five of their last 12, break them up, but still just 11 and 30 at home. Dodgers should come in and smash. Maybe it's even value. I did see some higher prices out there, but uh, let's see what the chat says in this one. Probably going to, what, be a bunch of Dodgers here. Heartbreak Kid says on the run line. Says, uh, look what the Dodgers did last night against the uh, uh, Rockies. I tried to go with the Rockies on the show. I don't know how the weather is. I really hadn't looked to see what it is uh, in Kansas City tonight, so we'll check it out. Here comes Love Tyrone. <laughs> Dodgers run line for Tyrone. Larry says Dodgers run line. He'll, Jeremy will take a minus two and a half. Ron says give me the Dodgers on the run line. And Ron C. says Dodgers will win. Thomas Lewis, Dodgers, he goes over in the game. Bionic here, Dodgers. Dre on the Dodgers run line. Good morning to Michael. And he says take the Dodgers run line. Solo says what is a FIP? Uh, fielding independent. 
uh, statistics, a metric in pitching uh, that, uh, yeah, thank you, Ron. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, often used as a, a measurement of maybe what uh, the uh, statistic could represent in the, in the future. Uh, you just don't know how the defense is going to perform uh, behind you. Kind of, maybe similar also is XERA. Miles says take the Dodgers on the money line here. So, all right, Mindy. Well, I'll take the Dodgers on the run line. I probably should mm -hmm. just take them to win the game, but it is $2. We don't want to give that out. We'll give them on the run line. Plus, they're playing the Royals. Sorry, Royals. Uh, like I said, that's not bad. Royals, five, five wins in their last 12 games. That's actually pretty good for these guys. Oh, Let's hey. take a look at the uh, – I'm not showing any uh, uh, rain in this forecast here. And uh, exactly what you said about the weather, uh, Mindy, the temperature is going to be over 100 degrees when the Blazing, game starts. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, still be around uh, 90 degrees when the game ends. So Miller to record the win, says Ron. Let's take the Dodgers on the run line. All right, the Yankees and the card. Well, the Yankees didn't get back-to-back -back, uh, no hitters yesterday with uh, Clark Schmidt up there, Mindy. But uh, here you got Severino, and uh, on the road, the Cardinals are a favorite here, a buck fifteen or so, nine and a half under fifteen. This total is going lower. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's kind of hard to trust uh, you know either of these pitchers here. And so then it kind of comes down to how I look, how the later innings are going to play out uh, with that Cardinals bullpen. And they've been pretty awful, 4.24 uh, ERA. Uh, so for me, that bullpen gives up a lot of walks. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Yankees here today. All right, Mindy says take the Yankees on the road with Severino. Uh, yeah, two guys with ERAs uh, over five coming into this one. And, uh, well, two offenses, it probably should be a little bit better. See what the chat has to say. I'm going to, I'm going to come in. I'm going to probably, I'm going to agree with you, Bindi, and want to take the Yankees. Uh, All right, let's do it. Looks like the chat's already kind of coming in with that. Larry, maybe on the under here, I don't know if meant this game or last. Here's Ron on the Cardinals, but Luis on the Yankees, Bionic on the Yankees, Solo on the Yankees, Thomas Lewis, Yankees, and over. So, Ron C says, give me the Yankees all day. Says the cards are burning money as a home favorite. <laughs> burning. So you're saying they're down 16 units right there already. Tyrone says over in this one. And Miles says you got to pick them game here. Makes it easy on us. St. Louis money line for high voltage here today. Takia on the Yankees. Dre says Yankees money line and under. Good thing I'm good with all these acronyms. Uh, you guys just keeping it short and sweet. I don't mind. I know uh, it's, you know, you got to type it in. We, I take it for granted. That's why I try to show everyone. I know the show can get sometimes long, but I want to make sure everyone, they've taken the effort to tell us their picks. And I feel like this is a great thing to do. Mindy, let's just take the Yankees here in this one. Uh, yeah, nearly a pick them. Uh, maybe we can even get it just a little bit cheaper. All like right. The New York Yankees, so. All right, we're building up a little portfolio for tonight. Yeah, we've got eight plays here so far. Okay, wow. Crushing it. Crushing the book. More than half the card, guaranteed. Diamondbacks and Henry uh, going up against the Angels in Griffin Canning. Uh, Henry, uh, definitely one of the most profitable pitchers, uh, one of those guys, profitable pitcher here. Uh, Canning as well, but Henry really – uh, is and canning though gets favoritism 155 nine and a half over minus 120. 
Well, uh, I mean, perhaps it's because Canning got the best of Arizona uh, last time in a 7-3 to three victory. Uh, the Diamondbacks are also 5 for 13 historically versus uh, Canning there as well. Uh, you know, the Angels had that bad outing again by Sandoval. So I'm looking for Canning to go ahead and come back here uh, again today. Really doesn't allow too many guys on base. Doesn't really allow a whole lot of homers. Has a 30% K rate. Like you said, Henry's been pitching pretty well. 33.3% K rate there as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give the edge to the home team here with Canning. He's beat him before. They don't hit him well. So going with the Angels today. Yeah. Uh, just feels like too high of a price for Canning for me to want to get together with you on this one. Uh, he has been pretty solid, no doubt. 2.5 ERA in his last six starts and a 4-0 record. 8-4 and four in his starts are the Angels, but the Angels have won just four of their last 11. Arizona, we know one of the best road teams in the league, 24-14. and 14. Henry does have an ERA of four in his last six starts, but 3-0. and oh, And the Diamondbacks are 9-2 and two in his 11 starts. So I uh, just can't get with laying the price necessarily there with you, Mindy. I'm going to uh, give out the over here as my play. It is, for me, uh, most likely a premium uh, if, if I didn't pivot here to this. But uh, I do like the over in this one, even at 9.5. I know I touted these starters a little bit with their recency, but still canning a 4 ERA overall, Henry, 4.31 ERA. Uh, I'm going to give out the over in this game with the Diamondbacks and that offense of theirs. And, of course, the Angels and their dynamic duo. I'm going to try the over. Let's see what the chat's going to be involved with here. We've got Ron Hahn says, give me Arizona first awesome. five minus a half. Jeremy Bryant's on the over in this one. Thank you to Ron Crawford. From the spreadsheet play, great to have you, Ron. Catch you over on those other shows. Get your plays. Appreciate you very much. An honor to have you here. Join us uh, here, Ron. Thank you. Darren says go under. Solo says take the Diamondbacks on the money line. Dre with the under. Luis says give me the Diamondbacks. Sean Money, Diamondbacks money line. Bionic on the Angels. Thomas Lewis, Angels. Heartbreak kid, Angels, Mindy. Mm -hmm. I think the Angels maybe have the lead in our chat a little bit. Ron. Oh, okay. Gotcha, Ron. He wants the uh, a half a run. Okay, gotcha. High voltage says Arizona money line. Okay. Takia on the over. Tyrone Diamondbacks over. Yeah, well, Jeremy, but I, I'm not going to go with Mindy. I'm not going to necessarily go heads up either because uh, Canning's numbers have been solid. I don't even think I'm, you know, going to make it to Arizona on a, a pre – if the price goes up, I might. I mean, I, I like the price on Arizona. That's just it. I, I agree that, uh, you know, the Angels maybe – you know, the Angels should be favored, but Miles does go over. Jeremy says Angels will win. Uh, remember, Diamondbacks, 14 games over 500. Like I said, one of the best road teams in the league. Angels, now, Mindy, we're at July 1st tomorrow. That losing streak never came. Um, the Angels are going to be faced with that big decision with Shohei Otani, I guess. But I don't know if you can squeak into the playoffs. What are you going to do? Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll take the over, Mindy. On I the hope he stays. That's all I know. Yeah. Look, the Angels aren't poor. I mean, well, you know, but I, okay. Here we go with the White Sox and the A's. Uh, I think we might be getting a line here. Let me check uh, in this one. Um, we're going to get for uh, the White Sox. Uh, Banks going to be our pitcher today. Um, this is a uh, Tanner Banks. Uh, 
definitely been, uh, let's see, four and a half ERA. He started two games already this season, but, uh, you know, pretty much just an opener. He's pitched eight games and 18 innings uh, so far. So the line currently, oh, boy. Uh, I just, oh, no, let me see. Yeah, you might just have to start. I don't have. Uh, Not I have there yet. Line. Has anybody got a line? Anybody got a line in here? <laughs> uh, what you got on the handicap, Mindy? Well, I mean, I don't think it's going to be uh, too bad of a line. I'm guessing the White Sox here are going to be the favorites. Yeah. I'm taking the White Sox hitters over the athletic hitters. Uh, just kind of as, as simple as that, right? Uh, suddenly the White Sox here are hitting home runs. And, of course, Oakland is, I don't know, 2-8 and eight in its last 10 games. Yeah, what well, can you say? The A's are back to being the A's, uh, I guess, here. And they don't even know. Here's the thing, Medina, uh, you know, with Jordan Lyles getting that win, here's Medina. He's the guy now. I think there's one other one, but uh, he's 0 for 7 in his starts anyway, not 0 and 7. but Moving up the ranks, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, seven starts. He actually has a, a win, but uh, it wasn't as a starter. So I guess that doesn't even uh, count. But he's got that 6.84 ERA, started seven games. He's appeared in 10 games. A's have lost now 12 of their last 14. Oakland 10 and 31 at home. White Sox, look, they're still 16 and 27 on the road. They've lost 11 of their last 18 uh here so i don't know they're not um too much they're not uh anything special either i i guess so all right mindy uh i just incomplete info and i don't want to hook us up here necessarily with the white Sox. i'll just uh i'll go over in this one uh we don't even know what the numbers are but like <laughs> said, they'll be favored uh did anybody in the chat comment on a line at all if not i'll i'll make it up i don't uh jeremy said let's see see if we can get anybody on this game any info socks money line for tyrone oakland <laughs> run line for dre bionic on the white socks takia might be on the over i mean they're not going to be even against the A's, Mindy, I would imagine it's only going to maybe be buck twenty. Yeah, I would, probably. I would figure. And uh, that total, oh, eight and a half or nine, I would, I would say. I know that's kind of broad, uh, kind of a broad brush there, but not a lot of info on this game. We'll just move on. To the final game, we already saw a pick out there. I think McClanahan on the road, dollar thirty here against Bryce Miller and the Mariners. So uh, here you have the Rays and McClanahan uh, discount night. <laughs> we will see, Ramon. We will see. Uh, on paper here, these two teams. Look pretty even. Uh, we got McClanahan, 2.58 ERA. Bryce Miller, 3.03. These are their splits on home and away. It's McClanahan that gives up the more home runs on the road. Almost two home runs uh, per nine innings. Also, putting up some walks here on the road. 4.6 walks per nine innings. Uh, again, that's always a little bit concerning when you got, you know, folks like uh, Crawford and uh, France and Kellenick out there. Uh, I think this is... Uh, Maybe a little bit of a spot here for the Mariners. I think they play a little bit better at home uh, than they do on the road. I'm going to take the Mariners here, plus uh, one and a half runs today. Uh, again, that Mariners bullpen is better than the Rays as well on paper. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, taking the Mariners here on the run line. Okay. Okay. I gotcha. Mindy on the Mariners here. Miller, 2.6 ERA in his last three starts. Mariners. Uh, have lost four of their last five games, but the Rays are, well, they've won three of four, but we know that they were in kind of one of their, their worst funks, I guess, if you will. 
the worst uh, of months. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe I guess that's what I'd call it up late. I'm going to go under in this one with the Rays and the Mariners. Uh, McClanahan, uh, 2.23 ERA. We know that. 2.7 ERA in his last four starts. He is 3-0. He's kind of returned to his form a little bit. Maybe he had a little bump in the road, if anything. And he has a, a good numbers, I think, against Seattle. So I'll, I'll take the under. Mindy will be on the Mariners. We'll get a few comments from the chat, then we'll move on to the WNBA. Ron says, give me Tampa Bay minus a run and a half. He was the one that made that early call. The early prediction. Uh, Fernando on the under, Takia on the over. What did Miles say about? Uh, oh, probably talking about that other game without the line there. Tyrone says go under. Solo's got it as a tarp. Take the Mariners. <laughs> High voltage Tampa Bay. I think that's money line. Larry says under. Miles says Tampa Bay is a lock here. Politican. Ray's on the run line. Dre says Tampa Bay and the under. What is Jeremy saying here? Unders and Rays, his favorite game on the board. He's even wearing his Rays shirt. There you go. Is it one of those? Is it with the new logo, the old logo? The star, whatever that is. Yeah. Ray of light. I like the old devil ray, you know, the old devil yeah, ray. Yeah, I, ray. I guess they had to, they drop because you, you don't want to say the word devil. Uh, you oh. want to offend all the devils. So they took that off their name. Devils were offended. All right. <laughs> Ron's got the challenge with Mindy in this. Right, we're doing it. It's been a while since we've uh, challenged each other for some coffee. I'm ready. Right, McClanahan left with the, you know, with the back tightness. I guess it was right. So um, we think that's what John says. Maybe a little conspiracy theory. Tampa Bay and under for Michael and Mike Allison. Tampa Bay Arnez is here today. Hello, under Seattle and or under and the Seattle run line. That's what it feels uh, feels like there. So thanks for watching and make sure you get over to the toniespicks.com website right now and check out our all cappers tab where you can purchase some of our own personal picks and be sure to go ahead and use the promo code TonyT at checkout to save at 20%. Okay, have fun. Watch another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.